Hi everyone, my name is Harvey, I'm part of the student team here at the University of Birmingham and I would like to welcome you to Germany. So I'm studying here at the university in Tübingen, which is a lovely little town in the southwest of Germany. You probably haven't heard of it. Um, we're about 40 minutes away from Stuttgart, which I will show you on the map in a second. Um, so my degree is modern languages. I study German. Um, so I have to spend my third year in a German speaking country. Um, so Germany, Austria or Switzerland. Um, why did I choose Germany? First of all, it's cheap. It is very cheap. Um, so around the corner from me we have Lidl, which is cheap anyway. Um, but I find the cost of living here so far very, very good. It's really affordable to get food, to get fresh stuff as well. It's so easy and it's so cheap. Um, night outs are also quite cheap. Um, obviously it depends on the club, but there are student bars that offer sort of like three euro cocktails, one euro shots all the time. Um, so you can definitely find something that will cater to your budget if you wanted to go out. Um, why did I pick this town? I picked Tübingen because, one, it's really, really beautiful, uh, which you'll see later on. So it's a fantastic place for summer to relax in. There's lots of green spaces um, and it's perfect for photos. So if you do follow me on Instagram already, you've probably seen I went a bit mad when I visited the castle for the first time. And I just took about 50 photos because the view from all different angles is absolutely fantastic. Um, I picked the university itself because it is very good for my subject. Um, so I can study lots of different things within German studies. I can do linguistics, modern literature, medieval literature. Um, but the way it works for me is I can also take um, subjects from any faculty that I want. So I'm doing things like Scandinavian studies, Celtic studies. There's also an option for me to do things like history, history of art, uh, philosophy, classics, anything. Um, this university is also particularly good for German courses. So for learners of German. Um, so I chose this university because they offer sort of 30, 35 courses every semester. Um, and I've got one of those on my timetable for today. So one of the advantages of Tübingen is that it is so close to lots of other cities, so it's great for travelling. I mean, from Stuttgart you can get to Munich, you can get to Zurich in Switzerland, um, Strasbourg just across the French border. Um, there are also trains to Paris, and I'll be taking that to get home for Christmas, so I'm taking the Eurostar, um, so it's going to be about 12 hours. Um, and it's only about 20 euros more expensive than a flight um, and I don't have to pay for luggage, which is fantastic. Um, also from Stuttgart you can get up to the north, places like Hamburg, uh, which is uh, there. Um, also obviously Berlin, uh, which is the capital, which is there. Um, so it's very well connected. Germany is very big, so it does take a while to get to places, um, but internal flights are quite cheap. Um, you can get from uh, Hamburg to Stuttgart for about 30 euros, I think, in about an hour. Um, so it's very, very easy to travel. It's fantastic, and I definitely will make the most of that opportunity this year. So today is a Thursday. It is the first week of November, so the clocks have just gone back. It is starting to get cold, but luckily I have quite a busy day, so I'm going to be indoors for a lot of it. Um, so I'll be taking you with me. We'll be going on a tour of the university, um, but then I'll also take you into the town and show you some of my favourite parts of it. So I live in the French Quarter. Um, named after the French troops that lived in the area when Germany was occupied after the Second World War. It's home to around two and a half thousand people. A lot of them are families, so you often see children and their parents together on the weekends. There's lots of people always outside, lots of things going on. Uh, this is one of the main streets in the French Quarter where you can see there's a bakery to the left which just gone past. 
um, a restaurant as well, there's a hairdresser's, lots of small businesses, dance studio, uh, a couple of small pubs, so there's always something going on, there's lots to do right on your doorstep. It's a very nice place to live, it's quite quiet, there aren't that many students that live here, but I absolutely love it. So coming off the bus, we are now on to Wilhelmstrasse, which is home to the Central University sort of admin departments, and it's also where I study. There are lots of cool shops, so like there's an antique bookshop there. Uh, you can find those all the way up and down Wilhelmstrasse. There are also lots of cafes. So there are two cafes to the left there uh, that are really popular with students. They offer fantastic value on drinks and some great food as well. The Neue Aula is sort of the centre of the university. There are lots of lecture theatres and a big concert hall, a bit like our Aston Webb building. It's a fantastic place at the heart of the university. Uh, so this has four buildings, lots of study spaces, computers. Um, it's really, really open. Lots of space, lots of good food in the cafeteria as well. Um, I do like eating here, as you could probably tell. To Old Town. I'm heading through the Botanical Garden today. Um, it's a fantastic place to get together with friends. We met here most days in September when it was nice and warm. It is absolutely beautiful. bridge over the river Necker, which connects the north and south parts of the town and has some fantastic views. It's a nice place to relax with friends again, one of the other green spaces we have in the town. I'm going to take a quick lunch break and I will see you in just a moment. So here we are at Brechtbau. This is home to languages, literatures and linguistics. It's where I have all of my classes apart from two, I think. Um, so I spend most of my days in this building. It's quite funky, so before my lectures, I'll just show you uh, a bit of it. So I always check the notice boards before my classes. They always have lots of events. They have a theatre group. Um, they have things for German students, things for English students, um, language exchange, partnerships, things like that. Um, so these are in the middle of this cool entrance hall. It's also got its own library for languages and um, linguistics. Unfortunately, I can't show that because no one's on there. Um, but I'll just give you a quick glimpse of the cool 70s um, architecture style. But now I'm going to to the lectures. So I am back where I started this morning. It's uh, 8.30, just gone. Um, I have, however, got my twinings. Um, it's been a long day. Um, Thursdays are, though, for me. Um, my lecture finished at 6. Uh, I then had to go shopping, and I've just cooked with some of my other flatmates. 
And now I'm finally getting a chance to relax in my room. So that is everything from me for this vlog, my first one for the year. My next one will be coming in December, where we'll be looking at some of the festivals that we have in Tübingen, including the Chocolate Festival, which I am very excited for, and of course the Christmas markets. It wouldn't be Germany if there wasn't a Christmas market. Um, so look out for that in early December. In the meantime, if you have any questions at all about studying abroad, about studying the UK, student life in general, then you can get in touch with me via Instagram at Harvey underscore UOB. You'll also find in my Instagram bio a link to my blog posts, which cover absolutely everything um, about university life. Once again, thank you very much. I'm off to drink some tea and go to bed. I thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.